All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting. As all this is taking place in France and the, the multiple terrorist attacks, the killing of the uh, police officer today and what we've seen in Europe, as this is happening in Europe, uh, our presence, militarily speaking, is dwindling. It's shrinking in Europe. We have more and more base closures. And joining us now is Newsmax's own John Bachman to tell us exactly uh, what it is that's going on. John? Yeah, Steve, and what this attack yesterday really put in stark contrast for everybody is that it's just another example of the rise of terrorism and radical Islamism is Islamism in Europe. But today, as you mentioned, the U.S. announcing that it's closing military bases. Their goal, they say, is to save about $500 million a year. The Pentagon says officially the operations in the continent are being consolidated. This is part of an effort started by the Obama administration almost two years ago. And ever since the plan, named the European Infrastructure Consolidation Effort, or EIC, was announced, there have been warnings about what may come. One of those warnings came in July of 2012 from the Heritage Foundation. They blasted the plan saying, quote, these cuts are sending the wrong signal to America's commitment to the transatlantic security. It will embolden U.S. adversaries in the Euro-Atlantic region. Most importantly, the cuts will reduce the ability and flexibility of the U.S. to react to the unexpected, or I should say, react to the things in Europe and the Middle East, which we're seeing right now play out today. The more America trains its allies to carry out these challenging missions, the more they can share the burden. Heritage also called the cost-saving rationale here a red herring, accusing the administration of downplaying the cost of what it actually takes to move these military units from their current basis. And today we talked to former CIA case officer Fred Russman, who said these base closures just represent a larger failure on the part of the Obama administration to understand the actual threat of Islamic terrorism. We're at war now with Islamic terrorism. Islamic terrorism. Identify it for what it is. If we can't identify it, we can't defeat it. And guys, it's not just the rise of radical Islam and terrorism in Europe that we need to worry about. Of course, there's the other adversary that likely has been emboldened by this drawdown in Europe, and of course, that's Russia. Steve, back to you. Now, we look at this, and a lot of folks are arguing, what, is this, what does this mean moving ahead? Uh, some say we should double down, we should make sure that those bases are still secure. But other folks, again, the argument you often hear from the left is the reason that why these uh, terror attacks happen is because we are over there in the first place. But this may, uh, this recent terror attack may definitely put a hole in that argument. Yeah, Steve. absolutely. All right, John, great job as usual. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, folks, it's very, very uh, interesting. And, you know, when you hear how much money they're trying to save, it's, uh, it, it's a, job, uh, a drop in the bucket, really, and one way or another. And, and how do you put a price on security if, in fact, uh, that would uh, enhance our security by staying or even in increasing our presence as opposed to, to leaving? As for John's uh, last point, which I think is a brilliant point, the, the left is constantly coming up with this nonsense that, you know, they, they, they attack us. Uh, and, you know, even, even, look, the left. How about Ron Paul yesterday on this show? Ron Paul, didn't he say that what happened in France was awful, it was horrible? But France has had some bad foreign policy. He even said 9-11. You know, they didn't hit us because we're free and that capitalism. He said they hit us because of our foreign policy, because we're over there, because we kill Muslims, because we're in their lands, etc. cetera. Um, you know, that mindset and that thought, first of all, I don't care why they did it. If we legitimize, and I'm not saying Ron, uh, Ron Paul attempted to do this, and not saying everyone on the left who blames our foreign policy is attempting to do this, but there are some who are attempting to do this, and that's legitimized. Well, they do it because they don't feel welcome in France, or, well, they do it because, you know, America has bad foreign policy, or France has bad foreign policy. There's, you, there's no, you can never legitimize the killing of civilians, innocent civilians, because you don't like something. There are rules of war which have been thrown out the window by terrorism. And that's what you have to say. You have to say, I don't care why they're doing it. It doesn't matter why they're doing it. What their grievance is, none of it matters. Because A, we'll never give in, and B, you can't legitimize it. You have to say you don't kill innocent civilians, period. Give me five is next.